Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to set environment variables in Azure Container Instances. So to start with environment variables enables us to dynamically configure the application or the script the container runs. We can use the Azure CLI, PowerShell or the Azure portal to set variables when we create the container. Secured environment variables enable you to prevent sensitive information from displaying in the container's output. In this video, we will create an Azure Cosmos DB instance and use environment variables to pass the connection information to an Azure container instance. An application in the container uses the variables to write and read data from Azure Cosmos DB. We will create both an environment variable and a secured environment variable so we can use the difference between them. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay. So I'm going to again create this environment variable. Okay. I will pay the bill. Launch it again. Sometime it happens. It won't let you type in the command. So you'll have to exit out and create the open up the session again. equal to ACI Cosmos random okay do this and then I will create the command to Azure Cosmos DB instance all right, Cosmos DB endpoint create resource group my test asset RST new Cosmos DB name and hit enter. And this command will can take a few minutes to complete. I will have the database name and would then proceed with deploying a container that will work with this database. Let me pause the video and come back. Okay this seems to be completed now i will run the az cosmos db keys list to get the azure cosmos db connection key and store it in a bash variable by doing this okay now i will deploy a container that works with the database we'll create an azure container instance that can read from uh, and write records to the Azure Cosmos DB instance. The two environment variables we created in the previous few minutes ago was Cosmos DB endpoint and Cosmos DB master key that holds the value we need to connect to the Azure Cosmos DB instance. Now I will create an Azure container using the CLI command and I will mention the environment variables like this AZ container create resource group name the image from it is from which it is pulling the image from ip address public location is us and these are the environment variables i'm going to hit enter starting running so the line microsoft azure vote front cosmos db it refers to the docker image that runs a fictitious app and the environment variable argument this argument specifies environment variables that are passed to the container when the container starts the container image is configured to look for these environment variables in this we pass the name of the azure cosmos db endpoint and its connection key right so when it is created it will connect to that cosmos db that i have created because i've mentioned the endpoint name and the master key to use for the connection let it run i'll pause the video and come back and then we'll run the ag container show or we'll look at the container for the public IP address to access that container. All right, now I am gonna go to my all resources. I'm gonna look for this container that I have created ACI Cosmos DB. This is my Cosmos DB and 
that I just created. ACI demo is the one that I created for Cosmos DB. This is the public IP. Paste it. See, this is the Azure voting app that I'm getting because I am connected to the DB. Now, if you if I want to cast a vote, I'm gonna go for cats. One, two. The number is increasing. I'm gonna vote for dogs. I'm gonna reset it. Resets to zero. Now, if you want to use secure environment variables to hide the connection information, so in the previous part, a few seconds ago, we used two environment variables to create the container. By default, these environment variables are accessible through Azure portal and command line. So if I go and check for the Cosmos DB, right? So if I want to see the keys, here are the keys, right? I can do and paste it, right? So, uh, there should be a way to prevent sensitive information such as connection keys from being displayed in plain text. So, let's start by seeing the current behavior and action. So, if I want to see the connection environment variables, I would see, okay, that uh, this is the value, the URI of to connect and this is the value of the primary key. I can see it. Now, although these values don't appear to your users through the voting application, so if users are ac accessing this application, they would not see these values. And if until and unless they have access to go onto Azure portal and actually see those values on the Cosmos DB that I'm using with this container. But if they are only accessing my application and they are you only doing casting a vote from the web browser, they would not see that value. So, secure environment variables prevent the clear text output. To use secure environment variables, we use the secure environment variables argument instead of environment variables. So, to create this thing, I used this command, environment variables. So, rather than doing environment variables, I would do, use Sorry, dash dash secure dash environment dash variable. So in place, so in place of only secure, I would write this line. Sorry, in place of only environment variables, I would write this line: secure environment variables. And then, if I want to uh, see those values using the show command, easy container show command, I would not see these. This is how you would use the environment variables. I hope this was informative for you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.